guys and welcome back. This is part five of our Dram Team subscription box. Today's whiskey is Great Drams Rare Cast Series Craig and Lackey, 11 year old. So I'm quite excited. Another one we haven't yeah. tried. Yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> and I was just saying, so we've tried four already. Four for four, we've loved them. Mm. I hope this continues. Yeah. This one looks a bit darker. What uh, percentage is this one? Just a bit more of that. This is a 46.2. Okay. I'm going to put a bit more in. No, I'm cool. Cool. So a bit, a bit, bit more darker. golden, yeah. yeah, a bit more gold. Yeah, yeah. Nice, a bit so. amber. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh, this has got a bit more of a pinch. Yeah. <laughs> take time, take stock. Mmm. Frazzles. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Mm, it's not as powerful as bacon. So you're probably going to get that because you're not a massive peat drinker, no. are you? So it's kind of... And I wouldn't say I'm getting peat. Are you getting peat? There's a slight smoke, but definitely the bacon. Like it's a smoky kind of just yeah. just going into a, a very, very light peat. Very and slight, sm and there is a smoke in us, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, is, yeah. Yeah. It's got all those kind of... You know when we have a, f a fire in the yeah. garden? And you get that, you know, when it, the the smell of the smoke. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. You know, we have like a chimney, and you know when yeah. you put the, yeah. But I'm I, I wouldn't say I'm getting peat, but I am getting a slight bacon. Yeah, there's a um, frazzle type. You've smell. got that kind of sweetness as well. That, yeah, there is a sweetness. There. It's just on the, the edge. Sweet, it's kind of yeah mixed in with the smoke. I think I say it almost always comes across like a berry bush that's on a campfire. Yeah. You get that kind of sweetness on the. Like the I'm thinking the smoke. like dried fruits. Yeah. Do you think like sultanas? You get a little bit of that. You saying berry bush? I get that, but yeah. I'm not getting fruit fruity as much. I'm thinking dried fruit. I'm getting a bit of a so wet you, cardboard as well. Oh yeah. I was just gonna say. So you went to the greengrocers. I'm thinking. I'm sitting in my garden when we've got a fire on. Yeah. Eating frazzles and <laughs> sultanas. <laughs> so I've had. That's what I definitely can get. The I've had the... whiskies. Uh, it, it's just been bacon. Yeah. And like the, you yeah. have had frazzles. Yeah. But this, I can understand probably why you're getting it because you don't drink peat. No. So it is a definite. Are you getting? Note. Can you get any bacon? Maybe I'm getting frazzles more. I can see where you're getting it from. Yeah. But. Or maybe there's another word and I don't know yeah. what another word is. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's not quite frazzles, but that's what it made me think of. It's definitely got kind of a... I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Which is similar to what you're saying, but they're not quite as strong as frazzles. They're bacon bits. Because mm. they're not... They are, I've got that bacon edge to them, but fra frazzles are just a, quite a strong note. Mm. But it's not bacon. No, the bacon bits are bacon. Bacon bits are okay <laughs> for vegans to eat, so there's absolutely no bacon in them. <laughs> okay. But it's like um, it, it, they're not as strong mm. in the bacon okay. note as yeah. frazzles are. I wouldn't say this is the And I think the strength. fruit, the dry, I'm getting like dried fruit, it's very subtle. Yeah. It's not like a, um, you know, sometimes you have a sherry cask and it's like eating like Christmas cake or something. Yeah. It's not like that. There is a fruit. In, there's a there is a sweetness there. Yeah, it is the it's the dried fruits not. for me. That's why I'm doing that. I feel like it's on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Oh, okay. In. I'm interested. I'm hoping this this might be a good one for you because you have been looking for that kind of step mm. between the sherry or yeah. bourbons and, and the I like Irish smoky whiskies. Into the peaty kind of yeah. level. So this might be a good one unless it's really peaty on the palate, but. No, it's not really peaty at all. It's not really peaty on the palate at all. No. It's almost, um, there's a... I wouldn't even say it was hugely smoky. No. I've had smokier whiskies. It definitely calms down on yeah. the palate. I'd say, I'd still say there's a, a smoke a, a smoke and definitely. a little meatiness Definitely to there is meat. I wouldn't say bacon necessarily, but I definitely think there's almost like a, 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 a meat to it. Yeah. Maybe like more like a barbecue kind of okay. now, coal... You know, like when the, no, I'm the, not very the, good at that because I don't eat a lot. Of yeah, meat. but you know, like when the um, the the burger fat if it drips, drips on the on, barbecue. I think I've said it before, okay, the burger yeah. fat drips onto yeah. the coal, yes. and you get the kind of that smell. Yeah. It's not the meat itself. 
it's, it's the meaty just the smell. Yes, and you I get could it see that. It burns off, and you get that smokiness and the and the meat. Yeah, but the, I would say there is no smoke really yeah. there. Yeah, I've definitely had smokier whiskey. And then the, the sweetness comes mm. through, doesn't it? Mm. The um, the sugars and the sultanas. Is there any sherry or anything finish uh, on this? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, read the we'll just read the card out that you get with it. So the card. So this is a Dram Team one, and this is um, the sorry the Dram Team co-founder Greg Dillon. He recently began releasing single cast bottlings under his Great Drams brand. Okay. So Craig Alaki is one of his favourites. It gets extra special treatment, being finished in. Specially procured Oloroso sherry casks. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to read this because <laughs> it's so tiny. Um, yeah, so it is finishing sherry casks. I'm guessing mm. that's where my dried fruits come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you, want, do you want to go in for the note? I, yeah, I don't do know it. what the. Yeah, bring them up. You might as well. So on the nose, charred meat, well done you, and barbecue embers, along with licorice, star anise, struck match, and a touch of polished leather. Then glazed walnuts, hot cross buns, and toasted raisins, big and rich. That was on the nose. I definitely did get, mm. like I said, sultanas, but they're the same as raisins in my book. Um, polished leather, licorice, and star anise. I just don't know or how you get. I can do the furniture polish. I know polish. what star anise smells like. I can like get as well. the furniture polish. Not on, the, not, not on this one necessarily, but I have yeah. got a polish kind of effect on some whiskies. But the leather, leather one always no. escapes me. Yeah. On the palate. Cherry, honey, molasses, dark treacle, Danish pastries, then a whack of clove, touch of cinnamon stick, and smoked charcuterie, which is what you've said, smoked meats, haven't mm. you? Yeah, kind of get that. So what Cherry, charcuterie means? Charcuterie is, you know when we have um, like our meats on a platter? Yeah. That's charcuterie. Oh, okay. So you Learned smoked, uh, yeah, you know, like the salami and yeah. those kind of things. That's just a platter to That's charcuterie. A meat platter. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a common word for all of them. Okay. <laughs> there cool. you go. An amuse bouge. No, it's not no. an amuse bouge, is no. it? No. There's another it's word just, for it, yeah. isn't there? It's just a platter. A smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> is it the same thing? Yeah, but you could use smorgasbord for puddings, oh. desserts, or anything, yeah. So, dark treak or Danish pastries. See if I got. I can get the. I got the sultanas. I think it would be very hard to pick that out on a whiskey that's got a kind of smoky edge to it. I don't know how to get through the smoke to get to that. I always see it as layers, and I, and the smoke mm. is on the top. You need it. I might. I could see the cherry. Happy, okay. taste it now. And I can't eat cherries, but I think I can get cherry. I can't get honey, treacle, clove, cinnamon. Or star anise, and I know what all of those yeah. taste and smell like. I can get like a sh a, a sweet sugary mm. fruitiness, but cherries. I'm yeah, I think there is. Yeah, to push it to that. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what's your finish like? Short again. It's not an overly long finish. It's very nice. It is very. It nice leaves finish. a mm. again. I would say that. This one is a little bit different on the nose to the palate and yeah, finish. Yeah, definitely. Kind of, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't last long when no. the finish. I think it's it's very fruity, the yeah. dark fruit. Just a nice. Me. It is very nice finish. Again. Yeah, it's yeah, it's completely different to the others that yeah. we've had. How does it stack up against the others? Do you think? I really mm. like it. I th I think I would find this an interesting whiskey yeah. to drink. Yeah. You know, one that you would sit and you would really enjoy, and yeah. you would sip and you would mm. just savour. Yeah, that's up there for me. Cool. I really like that one. How about yeah. you? I like it. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Um, Probably doesn't push oh, all your buttons. Yeah, there, does it? Like I've said many times before in our videos that I am really kind of a peace head. So I can appreciate this because mm -hmm. it is kind of entry level on that yes. peat. But Wouldn't do enough for you, would it? Doesn't do enough for yeah. me if I'm looking for that mm. kind of drink. If I if I want peat, I just want peat. Mm. I want as much peat as I can get. <laughs> so I don't I very rarely think I fancy a peaty whiskey mm. but the one that's not that peaty, yeah, I kind I of, get that. if I fancy a peaty whiskey, I'm just going to go bang um, in straight yeah. up the I, I ones I've enjoyed got. that. Because I, I just like you, so if I'm drinking a really heavily peated, like Kilcarran or Optimore or you know, the many names that we all know, mm. I'm going to just sip it yes. for a while. Yes. It's not going to be a quick drink. It's not yes. going to be something that kind of, 
I would just want to forget I'm drinking. It's yeah. just I want to enjoy it, experience it. Yeah. So that's kind of. And I think I could do that with this. For me, I think every mouthful made me think, oh, there's the yeah. sultanas, or oh, there's this. And I would like to sit with a series of notes, maybe not just their notes, maybe I'd go on some of the websites and look at their notes as well, and just see. Like, I definitely didn't get cherry until I read it, mm. and then I thought, yeah, cherry, I got that. I couldn't get all the others, but I could get that, and I like that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is good about the box mm. sets, mm. because you can pick... I mean, if you're rich, you could buy all six if you like them. Mm. But you can pick one or two out of these yes. samples. Go and buy the full bottle mm. and explore it a yes. bit more. Yeah, we are we are kind of sharing a, a 25 mil yeah. sample, aren't we? Here, yeah. so the fact that you can just go and buy the bottle, yes, and then sit back and do mm. a full on mm. kind of session yeah. tasting session yeah. with it. It's definitely worth the money it's, for that. Yeah, you yeah. know that it's worth doing it, yeah, don't yeah. you? So and I have to say, they're all, all so far, really great yeah. quality whiskies. Like, yeah. genuinely. Yeah, They've been really, really nice, good. haven't they? Really yeah, nice. So, so. Uh, we can't do the port drinking. Enjoy it. Yeah. I like this one, sorry. <laughs> the next video is the special sixth dram video. And it is a 10 mil, so we're going to struggle to share this one. But if you want to watch that, it will be coming up tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Go onto the YouTube channel, click subscribe and the bell button, and you will get notified when that comes up. The dram that it is, is the Tweedale, the Evolution 28-year-old. So, another one we haven't tried. So, if you want to watch that, we will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we always say here on New Dram Drinker, Pour it, drink it, enjoy, enjoy it. it.